We're going to discern about the six different types of wands that we currently have at Twisted Sage Studios. The six types of wands that we have right now, three of them are the Twisted Copper and three of them are Brass. Now, the Twisted Copper ones, we began with the Fairy Wands. The Fairy Wands are these little guys right here that work as pendants. Now, the Fairy Wands were made out of the Sperling Cubit, the 144 megahertz. Um, when we twist the wire is when we are inviting in the fairies of the highest and best good that step in to become part of these wands. Now, the fairy wands are working more on the physical bodies, which includes the emotional, but they're working on more of the physical realm. So then we've started playing with the dragon wands. Now, the dragon wands, the original one, is the large dragon wand, and then, of course, we have a smaller version, which is a pendant. But with the dragon wand, it is made with that standard TO2 Econ unit, which is what we make the balance and harmony rings with. So it does have that harmony template in it, the etheric template, but it is also bringing in the dragons. Now we started working with this council of six dragons who are six dragons who are just here in this universe to assist in the expansion of consciousness, basically. So they're just phenomenal beings. Um, but they're the ones who help to usher in the, the dragons, the dragon being who is associated with each of the wands. So when we make the wands, they are made specifically for a person, but yet anybody can use them. So for me, these dragon wands were more of an attunement. I carried mine by my side for about a year just to have that dragon energy with me as a reminder that I could work with that particular being. And a lot of people do use them as actual wands, as healing wands. I mean, we've had some reports of people working with, with things on the physical, that have really phenomenal results with them. So those were our three basic copper wands. Then we have the golden light rod, or the golden light wand, which is associated with the energetic tool, which we just called the golden light rod. Now, the golden light rod is an ancient tool. It's older than our galaxy, probably older than the universe. This is the one that clears timelines and realities. And then we have the miniature version of the golden light wand, which is the mini light wand, which is just a more compact travel size, a lot more economical. Both of these are going to be the same potency because what we are doing is we are using these as the physical anchor for that energetic ancient tool to come in. So the golden light wands are bringing through that etheric tool. They're the anchoring point for that golden light rod. That is the one that is clearing timelines and realities. Then we have the golden fire wand, which is bringing through the new geometries. It is bringing through that sacred heart energy, the quantum mind, that quantum void. So the golden fire wand is on a complete different level than what the golden light wands are. Now they are very similar in size for the mini light wand and the golden fire wand. You can carry any of these in your field. The golden light wands are gonna bring through that energy of the harmony template. So it's gonna bring through that balance and harmony. It's when you activate these through intention that you're bringing in the etheric wand that does the work of the golden light wands. Now then, the golden fire wand is something, again, that is just bringing through that sacred heart and all that the golden fire tools bring through. But you can use this guy to run energy. So basically, it's just doing a circular motion or a figure eight. And when you are running energy, we are seeing that it is affecting the physical cells. We're seeing that it is raising that light quotient around them. We see that it's raising the frequency and vibration of physical cells. Now it's fun to actually wand. I have people wand their left palm. And trying that, I see a lot of people, it opens up that meridian between the palm and that heart. And it seems to be a way that some people are actually receiving that activation of the sacred heart is through the wanding of the palm. All right, I hope you enjoy, have fun, play with these tools. We always love to hear feedback. 
And there's some amazing feedback out there already on the Golden Light Wands as they've been around for over a year now. But the Golden Fire Wands, we'd still love to hear more of your stories. All right, thank you.